what is validation so validation is something where whatever the input we enter based on that it has to check whether everything is in the correct format or not and based on that it has to throw some error message just to make user know what is the mistake he is doing so this is generally we go for validations maybe if we just run the case and check so this is our screen number one so here it is showing that first name is mandatory so i'm not entering any details so it has to throw the error right so this is nothing but error message nothing but part of validation so did we work on any part anything about validation no so we did not work anything about validation but still we are seeing something like OOTB error message so validations are somewhere inbuilt is what we're understanding so in some scenarios we are seeing OOTB validations okay and here mobile number maybe i'm entering mobile number as something like this if i tap out still i'm getting error message validations are somewhere internal okay and maybe email id i'm entering something invalid email id i'm getting same again error Okay, maybe age if I'm entering like 8000 or this figure, it will not throw any error. It will not throw any error. So we are seeing somewhere validations are OOTB available. And in some other scenarios, we have tried extra validations. Fine. Maybe if I click on submit now, we are getting certain error message or pop-up kind of. What is that pop-up? It is saying like, please correct all the fields before submitting. So this particular pop-up kind of or so this kind of message we did not design it right we did not design this we did not design this maybe if i'm trying to open another website something like facebook.com so there also will be having like first name last name and other things for registration and if i'm not entering first name value there and if i'm clicking on submit then also we'll get same pop-up then also we'll get same pop-up meaning this pop-up is not related to pega or this is not related to any particular website so this is part of browser okay this is part of browser so meaning our browser can handle certain validations right so maybe if i'm trying to enter this there will not be any error from here maybe if i'm trying to enter something enters like this no such error maybe enter some kind of valid email id worldwide email id format will be seen some text at the rate some text dot text that's it so if i'm just trying to enter something valid if i click on submit button it has to take us to screen two okay so in this process if i'm trying to apply certain validations maybe like mandatory symbol or maybe based on the format since i used phone control so whatever the value we enter within that it is checking whether it is number or not but mobile number, if it is just a number, not sufficient. It should be like 10 digits only, or it should start with plus 91 only. It should not start with 6 or 5 or 4. There will be certain restrictions. So error messages, whatever we are getting now, that is part of the controls. So this phone control has some internal validations. Maybe this email control has got such validations internally. Maybe in this last name, since this is like text input format, you enter whatever the value it will accept. So there are certain validations at the control level. Control meaning nothing but UI control only, right? UI control is nothing but browser level only, no? Browser level only, no? So we are seeing such error messages at browser level. So just try to submit this, we'll get this pop up. It might be Google Chrome browser or it might be like Firefox or Edge, whatever it is its own designed screen or its own designed pop-up we'll see so this kind of validations checking at the browser level this is called client side validation okay what we are supposed to call this is nothing but client side validation where i cannot work on modifying this pop-up it's not like for pega related and here i'm seeing something like value cannot be blank so if i wanted to customize this message first name should not be blank or please enter some value if i wanted to customize such we are not sure where to do because this is not like our design message right what would be okay so there will be certain client level validations by default included in pega that is at control level where it will be just checking for formats 
so here it will be checking whether first name is blank or not that's it first name is blank or not that's it you enter anything irrelevant it will accept it. so its duty is to check whether this field is blank or not and here it will be just checking whether this field is having only numbers or not that's it, it will accept and this will be checking whether it is having a proper format some text at the rate some text dot text that's it so client level validations are like where it will be just checking at browser level and that too for certain format only maybe if i wanted to check first name should be like minimum four characters it should be like maximum 20 characters and it should be everything in the upper case maybe some everything in the lower case there should not be any spaces if it is such extra validations then we have to do something more in pega okay so finally validations will be of two types so what are we seeing now so if i just tab out i can see such error message this is part of validation this is one type of validation maybe if i'm trying to log off and log in again if i'm trying to log off we know we'll get pega login page right so we know we'll get pega login page where i have to enter username and password and i have to submit this form and if i'm entering my operator id and my password what it has to do so it will be checking whether these two are correct or not then it will not throw any pop up just like this it will not throw any pop up like this please enter fields so it has to throw one pop up saying like username or password is incorrect this is what the error message it will show this is what the error message this error message is part of our pega screen it's not part of browser this is what pega team might be created by this time so once i click on submit button so this username and this password has to be reaching clipboard from there it has to reach our database table that is pr operators table and there it will check whether this id and password is correct or not based on that it has to proceed from front end so in this process if anything is like wrong it will throw error message on the same screen which is like designed by our pega it's not like designed by our browser so in this process maybe here in this process if i'm trying to submit the screen it will check whether this having value or not it will just check for the formats basic formats first name should not be blank mobile number should not have alphabets this is like basic format and browser level it will throw the error but here if i submit value should be reaching to clipboard from there to sql sql so this is nothing but interacting with the java server so this kind of validation is called server side validation okay this is nothing but server side validation and the earlier one which is at client level or browser level that is called client side validation meaning validations will be of two types so two types that is client level validation and server level validation client is nothing but browser level where it will be at ui control levels itself okay fine so this is common everywhere in every website not only in pega so everywhere this will be of two types client side and server side okay fine so now to issue either client or server we are having three rules in pega we are having three rules in pega okay so first one second one third one what are the names how to create and what type of validation it is following okay and in what requirement we have to use those things will come to know but we know we know there is one main rule called activity using activity we can replace multiple other rules if i use an activity we know we need not use report definition activity can do what a report definition is doing except report part whatever okay and we have seen something like data transform so activity can do what a data transform is doing so this also can be avoided actually if we uh, if you wanted to go with activity and even with validations we can avoid these three rules also so we can apply validations even from activities the activity will be having certain methods using which we can have error messages displayed okay and we need not go for any extra rules for the same but we have to follow vice versa situations right so if you wanted to pull multiple data go for rd not like activity if you wanted to go for tra data transforming go for this one not activity if you wanted to go for validations go either of these three rules not like activity you have to understand something about substitute rules 
so in activity we can do with validations also so there will be certain methods like property set messages there will be one such method using which we can able to check for certain conditions and throw the error on respect to property and there will be method like page set messages and there will be method like property validate and there will be method like page validate so using these methods we can apply actually validations but these methods are part of activity generally so part of activity meaning activity itself everything is like java processing okay it's everything itself like java processing so if i'm trying to apply validations with either of these methods 100% we can achieve like server side validation only we will be achieving server side validation only but in our requirement we are supposed to go for client side as well as server side okay so consider this scenario so maybe if i'm entering first name as this it has to validate and throw the error so what type of validation it is so i'm just trying to enter this one it is throwing some error so here it is just checking for mandatory but in my case i wanted to enter only alphabets if i'm entering some special symbols and my requirement is to throw some error so what kind of validation it might be server side or server. client side server, server side. side server side okay maybe if i'm entering something like this hyphens it has to throw the error please enter only alphabets that should be the error generally so what type of validation it is server server. 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 server server no okay no so as i told you if i wanted to check for validation it will be just checking for format so here if i'm entering something like this so completely alphabets maybe if i'm entering something like this completely numbers which is not like alphabet format right so it will be just checking whether entered name is like alphabets or not that's it okay whether entered name whatever i enter it will just check whether it is alphabets or not if it is alphabets then accept if not through there this is just checking for basic format that's it this is client side okay we have to go for client level validation okay so maybe if i'm entering email id if i'm entering email id as like this so now it will throw there what kind of validation it is client side this is this is server side only so this is also client okay so email format what it will check so it will check just whether email format is like some text at the rate some text.com that's it so this is not in that format that's it okay this is not in that format that's it this will be just like client side just format level checking up okay this is client side validation so now it will not throw any error it will be just checking for format okay maybe in my requirement or so if i'm trying to enter this one if i'm trying to tab out then it will throw there what kind of validation it should be client side client side it will be just checking for whether entered characters are like numbers or not okay fine so maybe if i'm entering just if i'm entering this one so valid mobile number so if we tab out generally will not get any error so what kind of validation it should be it is just checking for whether number entered whether the data entered is number or not so it is client side only but my requirement here is whenever we enter valid mobile number and if i'm trying to tab out immediately i have to get one error saying like this mobile number is already used by another person okay so what are the mobile number we enter that should be validated whether it is existing or not what kind of validation it is this is server side also okay so what are we understanding so if i am just entering the data it will be first checking for format whether it is number or not that is the thing okay and whether it is alphabets or not so for this kind of validation it need not go to database table or it need not interact with the server so at browser level it can take the decision those are like client side but here if i am trying to enter mobile number it has to check in the database table whether this is available or not so if it is available we have to get the error 
if not it has to accept so this is like interacting with the backend server so this is server side validation so this is nothing but server side validation suppose here if i wanted to accept customers who are of like tcs only okay if you enter something other format it has to throw the error so now tell me what type of validation it is client side what type of validation it is server or client client server side so this is server okay. side actually is also client so it will be just checking for format whether it is having like at rate tcs or not Okay, at rate TCS or not, that's it. This is just like checking the format. This is also client side validation. Okay, you'll come to know slowly. So, to go for either client side or server side, we generally have three rules in Pega. 